Anytime you're using high current circuits, such as electric fans, fuel pumps, nitrous solenoids, auxiliary lighting, you should be using a relay to turn on these accessories. A relay allows you to use a low current switch to control a high current circuit, otherwise you'd eventually burn out your switch or worse. MSD solid state relay module takes the place of four standard relays, and because they're solid state, they're faster acting, less sensitive to shock, vibration, and moisture, making them perfect for harsh racing environments. The four independent channels can handle 20 amps each or be combined for a total of 80 amps. You can easily activate any channel using power or ground. You can use toggle switches or a switch panel to activate the relays. Today I'm going to show you how to wire it using the programmable outputs in Sniper EFI, Terminator X, or Holly EFI. Other manufacturers' ECUs may have this capability as well, but for all intent and purposes, we're going to focus on Holly's line of ECUs. Let me show you how the relay works. You have four channels or relays to work with. There is two activation banks. The lower bank is the ground activation, while the upper bank is a 12 volt activation. There are two wires that are required to be connected to get the relay to function. Your battery power and a ground wire. The main battery lead should be hooked up using a 4 gauge wire. The ground wire, which is located in the ground activation bank, needs to be connected regardless of which activation type you choose. To wire in a load or accessory, simply use the appropriate gauge wire from the relay to your accessory and be sure to provide a ground. To turn on the accessory, simply use the corresponding channel in the activation bank to activate the relay. This can be either ground or a 12 volt switch. For my application, I'm going to use the programmable outputs to trigger our relay block. I highly recommend developing a plan and drawing up a diagram before you start wiring. This is the wiring diagram I will be using to wire up our MSD relay block. With four channels, we'll use the first two for our spall fan and electric water pump. The other two channels will be for our fuel pump and our trans brake. For the electric fan and pump, I made some quick leads using the 10 gauge wire. I connected them to channels 1 and 2 on the MSD relay block and ran the grounds up to my front grounding point which is also connected to my engine block. I used channel 3 for my fuel pump and because my fuel pump duty cycle is controllable, I also hooked up a wire from the controller to an output to my ECU. And finally, channel 4 will be for my trans brake. The power lead goes to the solenoid and the trans brake button goes to input 1 into the ECU. To hook up the main power lead to MSD's solid state relay, I used 4 gauge wire and connected it directly to my starter solenoid. I mounted the relay block with the supplied hardware up in the passenger side footwell. I ran all my 10 gauge wire power leads to the relay block and then hooked them up. Make sure to use the supplied blue Loctite to secure the power wires. I connected all the programmable outputs from my ECU to the ground trigger inputs. Make sure to connect them to the corresponding channel. Since all of these are ground outputs, they will go connected to the lower row of the relay block. There's a chassis ground wire that must be connected regardless of which bank you use. The green 12 volt fuel pump activation wire will go to channel 3 of the 12 volt bank. And that's all the wiring we need to do. With the ability to program outputs in Sniper EFI, Terminator X, or Holly EFI ECUs, we can easily set up our accessories to turn on or off. Learn how to do that watching this video. To learn more about MSD products, visit msdperformance.com.